Okay, so today Brooke's gonna show you how to put your, her makeup on. She's learning, so I'm gonna kind of walk her through each step. She's gonna start with the 3D brush. It is a great beginner brush because it's kind of stiffer, so it's gonna help to blend. You could get the blend brush, but it's really soft. It's a more like light coverage, but you're gonna have to work a little bit harder to blend it. That's why I kind of like the 3D brush when you're first starting out. Um, and then it has this like tapered kind of, this is also a little bit more dense. So 3D brush. We did put on the moisturizer before this. We gave it time to soak in and I'm gonna quickly walk through what's in your palette, okay? So first things first is she has her main highlight. This is her skin tone. So this color right here is gonna match her skin tone. So this is where she's gonna use any to kind of even out her skin tone. Because she's so young though, she's gonna need just a little bit. The next one is Bella Bronzer, just to kind of warm up her face. So this is your bronzer. It's pretty sheer, but you could build it up. We have Angel Illuminator, which is so pretty. And then we have Sadie Lip um, Lip and Cheek. Sadie is pretty sheer. So it's more just for a little gloss. We'll pop a little bit on the cheeks, but it's not gonna give, It's she's not gonna look like she's wearing tons of makeup. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. So first things first, I'm gonna show you when you use your brush, do not like, you're not swiping. These are creams. A little goes a long way. Um, if you use too much, you're going to look way too greasy and feel way too tacky. So yeah, gross, right? So when you first start, you're going to tap, okay? And you can already see there's some on the bristles. You're just going to tap and get a little bit. This is buildable. So here you go. So you're going to start like in your beard area. So just kind of tap it, not swiping. Ready? Go. Yep. Yeah, so just... And then down the chin too. Yep. So you can go to, and then you're just gonna, yep. And just kind of, if you need to get a teeny bit more, you tap. So, so this one that's your skin okay. colored, just tap, tap, tap. Okay. Get right here to the chin where you need a little bit extra coverage. Okay. If you need to also, so if you have a blemish, you can use your finger, get a little bit extra and just tap it on the areas where you just need a little bit more coverage. Okay, so grab a teeny bit, a little bit more. So, okay. And then you can just bring it a little bit on your cheeks here. We have some redness. Yeah. Yep, and so you could take this and bring it up. A little bit. Just like that. You could then take this little pointy in also, tap a little bit, and then get some right in the under eyes as well. Okay, so look up a little bit. This is where you could also tap it on your nose. Okay, I'm gonna let you get the other side. So use this and you're just gonna tap okay. in your under eye. So do it on that side. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll get a little bit on your forehead. You can use either end. You, you really could use either end that you want. You'll find probably that you like one or the other. I like the bunny tail end. Okay, tap your forehead and just kind of get it all over. Get it right here where you need more coverage. Yeah, get in between your brows where you have a couple blemishes still. Yep. All right. Good. Okay. So at this point, you can kind of go and just kind of make sure it's all blended in. Get a little bit on your eyelids even. So just kind of blend it in. You just kind of tap, press the product, and move it around. Okay, now she's gonna go into bronzer. Okay, so I kinda like pinch it a little bit and just, so I'll kinda pinch it a little bit and just kinda get some on the brush, okay? Your bronzer, I'll do this side and you'll do the other one, okay? So for your bronzer, you're just gonna kind of tap here the top of your forehead, okay? So can you tap the other side of your forehead? Mm -hmm. You might have enough product on there just to see if you have enough product. Like that? Yeah. I think you need a little bit more. Pinch it. Just a little, yeah. 
Yeah. A little bit more than that. You need a... <laughs> All right. And then dab your forehead. There you go. And don't worry if it seems too much. It's going to blend out. Okay, and then see how you have this big opening here? Go all the way across your forehead. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then bring it on the tops of your cheeks. So start, so if you need to, get a little more. Start in the back, and then you just kind of bring it forward. See, so start in the back. And so really your bronzer is a big C on your face, okay? Once you get it on, you can then blend it out. So you just take your brush, and you're just kind of doing these little pouncing guys. Okay, so can you try to blend that side a little bit? So you just kind of, yeah. Okay, here's a little tip. If you get bring the bronzer down a little too low, it's okay. Take your little brush, tap a little bit of this, and then you can kind of blur the bronzer out a little bit with your foundation color. You can just like that and then it'll even it out. So there are no mistakes with this makeup. If you get a little bit too much, much bronzer, like I said, just kind of take your color that you use for your skin and just kind of diffuse it a little bit and blend it out, okay? Okay, so now this is, we're gonna go into Sadie. Now Sadie, like I said, is very sheer. It's a gloss. So she'll definitely put it on her, um, her lips, but for your cheeks, you can get it. And you're just gonna tap it on. Can you turn your face a little bit so they can see? So you're just gonna kind of tap it on. You can use your finger. But you can see it's just a really kind of more natural look. Uh, turn the other way. And you just kind of, you can use the brush also, but I kind of like the finger for the blush. Okay, I'm gonna let you use your finger and put some on your lips. So you gotta rub it like this. Don't be scared of it. Yeah. There you go, through the top. A little bit more. Okay. And then, same thing. This is now the Angel Illuminator. You could use your brush. I'm gonna use my finger. So it's really pretty. And you're just going to tap it on the tops of your cheeks. Okay, and if you want, you could tap it on your nose. You could even tap it, go ah. Even tap it on your lip. Okay, so now tap it with your finger. Okay, and then tap your nose like this. Just, just to kind of blend it out. How do you think? Can you go like this? Let us see your face. Let's see both sides. And so she did this pretty look literally with just these four colors. That's it. If she doesn't want so much, you could build, you can go a little bit lighter and not do your whole full face with your, your main highlight. If you want, you also could take this brush and go into the bronzer. Close your eyes. And you can use a little bit of the bronzer as eyeshadow, but this is definitely... If you have a young one, this one might be a little extra. Close your eyes. Don't tell me when it opens. But you kind of just tap that bronzer on the outside of the eye. Um, but if yours is, keep close. If your daughter is a little bit younger, this is totally, you know, a little step that you can skip. Open up. But that is it. Okay, before we hop off, it, um, cream makeups don't set. So you could leave it like that if there's no problems. But if you are wanting to set it a little bit, I definitely recommend just go to Target, Walmart. You can get the NYX, the NYX. They have a nice setting spray, cheap, affordable, you know, babysitter money can buy. Milani is a really good one. Also, I don't recommend this charcoal one, but Milani has like, I think it's like a white bottle. It's a fantastic setting spray. Today, she's gonna be just using my Charlotte Tilbury. This is a little expensive for a teenager, someone starting off, but I'm gonna let you do it. You just hold it like here, and you just squirt your face a couple times, okay? So and this is gonna help, yep, watch. Okay, and it's gonna, it, first off, it smells delicious. Okay, so hold it out in front of your face. Go for it. 
Yeah. Oh, <laughs> close your eyes. Close your mouth. <laughs> One more. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. We are done ready for school on a palette for your teenager or if you want to switch it up you could use a contour instead of a bronzer you could use a brighter a really cute like pink grapefruit would be a brighter pink lip and cheek that would be great for your daughter reach out and i'll help you signing out i'm Brittany. this is brooke and we'll talk to you later bye thanks bye bye, bye.